Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video we will talk about the calculated element. So with the calculated element we have a few options. The first option with the calculated element is to calculate uh, numeric fields. The other one is a string mode which you can co concatenate strings and the third mode is string mode with function mode where you can run JavaScript on your form, on your form using the calculated field. So let's start with the basic usage of, of the calculated field. So uh, we have here a section which we map the fields here into opportunity products and we're getting the first hundred products from the opportunity, from the opportunity products. Um, we're running the get just on form execution. We have no conditions, just getting the first hundred. So, and we're mapping the fields onto here. So let's see how it looks for now. And we have some products here loaded. And what we want to show is a calculated field that sums that does the subtotal for, for each line. So we need to multiply the price by the quantity and get the subtotal. So we're going to throw our calculated here and say price times quantity. And we're going to rename the field to subtotal and save the form and refresh our form. And this is the subtotal. Pay attention that this guy over here is 360 and this one is 105 because it calculates for each line separately. And now let's say we want to know the total of the entire um, of the entire opportunity products so the only thing we need to do is to add the subtotal here and what it will do since form titan knows that th this subtotal calculated field is in a repeated section then it will sum it up every time so let's do total total price and we'll save the form and refresh it and we can see that it's summing up the price for our entire um, opportunity products. Let's take a look at our string mode. So basically what the string mode will do it will enable you to concatenate the, the string. So I'll turn the string mode on and then we can do, for example, product name and add subtotal as well. And let's see what it does. Doesn't make any sense right now, but so it will just create a string of whatever we gave it. So it created a string for all of the product names along with the price. Let me show you a more accurate example. So let's say we do an input and we're going to call this text box 1 and do another one text box 2 and we'll throw in a calculated and we're going to say string mode and turn on the string mode and we'll say text box 1 and text box 2 and we'll save our form and refresh it so if I'll put So we can see that our calculated concatenates uh, the two strings. So that's the string mode. And now if we'll, we'll take a look at the function mode. So we'll take another calculated. And we will click function mode. And we'll throw in some... Uh, 
a function, a JavaScript function. So I throw in a function, and what we can do with this is you can do anything with JavaScript, but what we're going to do here, I'm going to do uh, my var to lowercase and then my var to substring 0 till 2 and return my var, uh, which will return the two first characters in my string and turn it into a lowercase. But again, you can use any JavaScript here as you like. You can create dates, do uh, calculations, and uh, whatnot. So let's refresh this and say hello and the calculated return the calculated function mode so let's call this function mode and save my form and refresh and let's say donkey so I get just do in the calculated function mode. One thing, one important thing to notice, you can you can do any calculations you want with, with the function mode, with the function mode and with the uh, string concatenation, the string mode. Um, one thing to notice, if you want to calculate things that don't have, that's got nothing to do with any fields on the form, should always put something of the form because the way that the calculated mode works it needs a trigger to run so let's say when I refresh this this calculated doesn't show anything because the, nothing triggered it once I leave the focus of textbook one you can see that it was triggered then it will show the value so it's always something to keep in mind you always need something some other form on the field to trigger your calculated uh, element. And this is how it's done.